right. So it's Monday. So that means we're doing a state. However, on Friday, I didn't remember what was actually after Alaska. It is not Arkansas. It's Arizona. So here we is being in Arizona. You can see if you're not too fully aware of locations within the United States. Here's Arizona. It's over in the part of the uh, U.S. where they kind of just gave up on borders. You know, back over here you have all the really old states. And then by the time you get over to these, you're just like, fuck it, I don't know, here's a square. Uh, I don't care if it overlaps Utah. And then you have something like this where it's the four corners being a, like, point of tourist attraction. But this be Phoenix, uh, Arizona. Phoenix is the capital, and uh, deserts, kind of, kind of its thing. Its flag is kind of funky. It's just a star with some stripes everywhere, and I think a blue base. Um, never been to Arizona, so I don't have any anecdotes other than just kind of what I said. It's a uh, Nasty looking sludge pit here. I think this is a farm of some kind because generally things like this don't happen normally in nature. So I'm going to say this is a farm. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's a steakhouse or it was the original cowpuncher steakhouse. Apparently there's imitators. What do we have here? Is this a realtor? Realtor? That's what I meant to say. Perryville and Lower Buckeye. Hmm. Now, is that a town? <clears throat> I really don't know. So, I'm going to kind of go along until I see a uh, intersection like this right here. Um, and I'm hoping that West Highway 85? They're in 85? There's an 89. That is definitely looking like a 5. So, I'm going to say it's that. Uh, how we doing? It's uh, me very tired in the morning. It's 2nd of November. The day of uh, daylight savings time here in the U.S. So, we set our clocks back an hour. Which... <clears throat> excuse me, normally would mean a good thing and I would get lots of sleep. However, it hasn't been that way for the past couple of years where I'm just like, all right, I guess I'm up instead of 5.30, I'm up at 4.30. And it just sucks. I'm still thinking it's a phase of some sort and it'll eventually go away, but oh, here we go. But for now, it's just real annoying. I feel like it's got to be around here. Like a Perryville around here. Hmm. 85 going this way. There's Buckeye. And then Perryville's got to be like over this way a bit. Hmm. I think we're around here. But I'm hoping I don't see Perryville anywhere, so moving on with my 14 seconds left, seeing if I actually get any other information. Like if maybe if I went down here, it actually would have told me a highway sign instead of me guessing. But I think I'm pretty close. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close. Different type of 85. So maybe that was, no, no, it, it, yeah, maybe that was just dumbass luck. <laughs> <laughs> Very possible. Um, it's a bit of an issue as far as thinking that, oh, you know, maybe the, the sleep issue will go away and then I'll be able to uh, sleep normally. It just hasn't happened yet. I mean, they always talk about the older you get, the less sleep you get throughout the nights, but does it have to start now? Desert Mountain Brokers. 
This is suburbia. I can't tell what suburb this is out here. There's a couple of people I know that live out in Arizona. And some of the shit they have in their yards, I forget exactly what they're called, but fuck, they just look painful. They're these essentially nature's caltrops that are just, I don't know if they're dropped by a tree or something, but you see like pictures of people in the bottom of their sandals. They always say like, don't go barefoot in your yard in Arizona. And then there's like a picture of this thing embedded in the shoe. And it's, it, it just seems unpleasant not to mention fucking hot as hell. And I feel like I'm, I'm probably trapped in here again. I'm like stuck in suburbia. I'm going to go this way. Maybe this way gets me out. I mean, cactuses, why would you, even walking on the side of the road, look at these things. There's fucking angry plants. I mean, sure, you can do a bunch of stuff to um, make them edible and whatnot, but why would you want to? <clears throat> Just don't live in the fucking desert. I mean, to me, that this just seems wholly unpleasant. Hey, just get me out of this fucking suburb, please. I'm patience being tested here. I think I'm. I think I'm. I gotta pause. Hold on. There we go. All right, there's a road, and I'm continually punching the fucking Sedona Shadows and Sunset Hill. Are we like near Sedona? They're not gonna finish construction yet. There's the Arizonian flag. So I was. I was. I was right. An age qualified manufactured home is so this is a retirement home trailer park. You know, you can flower up that language all you want. This is what it actually is. So this is a school? Why would there be a school next to a retirement home? Alright, let's get back onto this highway potentially. Um not seeing any road signs anywhere. I was hoping to. Seems to be a drainage ditch. It's another thing that's um, been noticing over the uh, past week, Red Rock State Park. That, where are Red Rocks? The near Sonora? I believe that that's a... That's a town. Hmm. I have 41 seconds left. Like, I'm not seeing any actual easy things I was kind of hoping I would but also you know only do what you can here I'm going to say we're like there and then hopefully find like Red Rocks like near Desert Hills that's Lake Havasu which is very much a uh, college drunk destination it's like if you go to that thing it's fucking like it, it feels like Mardi Gras on a pond. Oh, so we were actually up here near Sedona. There, I just couldn't see it in the uh, national forest here. Grand Canyon's also in this state. It look, it looks exactly the same as where we just were. Um, never been to the Grand Canyon. It seems amazing and fantastic, and something definitely I would want to do. Um. I'll just add it to my to-do list. I feel like we're near a pond, a lake. Maybe this is Havasu. I don't know how many actual lakes are in this state, but it could be a lot. It's just I keep continually clicking. Hopefully, I can get there in time. But, yeah, this past uh, Peter the Alute, Divine Liturgy Sunday, for Peter Henry. Oh, Friar. Father. I think that's actually, not Friar. Oh, am I not allowed? All that time, I'm not even allowed. Look at this dump. What are we bashing here? The TV or speakers? Eh, I don't know. But we're in pretty hard, and then just the amount of destroyed roads that happen. Like, I never thought it would be such a thing, but fuck if, uh, oh, yeah, Lake Havasu City. Here we go. The uh, high school 
little college party thing, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, now I got to find roads. So I'm going to hit home, and now it's just going to be kind of a hopefully see intersections and then squint on that map enough times to actually find it. And I double checked again to make sure if my mic is working. I would have been very miffed if it wasn't. All right, we got Arcadia and Huntington. All right, so now it's a matter of finding <laughs> a needle and a stack of needles here. But you never really think about how much fucking water can just, like, destroy shit and how quickly it can do it. The uh, plenty of roads, just from, like, a day... I mean, it was pretty goddamn windy and rain pretty much the entire day, but I never really think it actually can do what it does until it actually does it, just because you don't really deal with torrential downpours and flooding all the time, at least around here, and then you're just kind of like, not so much taking it for granted, but just like, eh, you know, it's rain, it'll go away, but it was weird that night, um, did not get much sleep, just because, uh, it was insanely windy, and it hit me probably at the worst time when I'm trying to fall asleep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's Arcadia? Found Huntington. And it just hit me that I'm in the middle of a friggin' um, forest. It's super windy out. At any time, the, the, these trees could just, you know, fall on me and I'd be fucked and I was like well I guess I didn't want to sleep there's Arcadia so we're like right here I think let me hit home All right we're near a turn we're in the top part of an S turn here so maybe it's here I think I got it but yeah it was just kind of unsettling for a bit. It's one of those things when you just think about something you probably shouldn't right before you fall asleep and it just ruins your sleep. And it's kind of stretched into multiple days. Now I'm going to make my guess now. Oh, we were a little farther up. I'll take it. So I hopefully you've been able to see all the majestic lands that uh, Arizona has to offer here where you can get 100 acres. 4.9 million. <clears throat> they just throw landed you out here. So if you're looking for large swaths of land in the middle of fucking nowhere, they got you covered. What does this say? La Puerta Road. What are we near? Red Rock? Uh, Bullhead City. City limits. Alright, so now it's a matter of finding... Something called Bullhead City, but I don't know if I believe it's an actual city. All right, let's see. Is it big enough to be seen from this far out? Well, there's Baghdad. In case you were wondering, you hear about it all in the news. That's exactly where it is. Bullhead City. Not seeing it. But I'm going to take a little closer look after this cursory glance to see if there's a uh, road intersection that'll tell me some things like this right here we're on east 68 all right that's the state route highway sign in case you were curious and if you were i mean i'm not here to shame you on your hobbies but why would you want to know what route signs look like found 60 I'm not seeing 68 yet. Maybe I gotta zoom in one more. All right, 68, Kingman, Bullhead City. We're right on the border, huh? So maybe we we're up here because there's a bit of an S turn. I gotta pause the mic and cough again. Excuse me. All right, mic's working. Maybe it's a bit of a turn. We're like right here. Because it seems kind of straight. What is this sign? That probably says Bullhead City. No, 
Next five miles at end of grade. Stop sign at end of grade. All right. Let's just go in and take a look at what Bullhead City's got to offer. There's a Kiwanis Club. I don't ask me what Kiwanis is. It just seems like a lot of these. Um, we've got Kiwanis International, couldn't tell you, like Rotary International, Lions International. You got the Freemasons here. So, Optimist International, I don't know what that is. Don't know what this is, or this is, or that. Maybe Royal Elks. All of these just seem like adult bars, but you pay for them. I mean, don't ask me if I if there was a difference between Rotary, Lions, and Kiwanis as far as like, no, these guys take care of dogs. These people take care of brick houses that face westward and only get 3% of sun in the fall. I mean, they they probably have some very... Weird and specific criteria for uh, being in the group and what they actually donate money for, if they do at all, or if it's just a adult drink building. I don't know if these things are in uh, other countries, but I'm sure you have your equivalents there. I think I nailed it so much so I'm going to uh, hit the guess. Yeah, it was pretty goddamn close. A little farther up. No, actually a little farther in. Inside the city limits, apparently. Here we go. Final round. Look exactly the fucking same as the other one does. Um, I wonder if it actually shows it on the map here. Alright, so the Colorado River is the border between California and Arizona. And they use the uh, water divert the water from the uh, Colorado River so much that I actually do not think it reaches the... Uh, yeah, I don't think it actually reaches the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Not the Gulf of Mexico. Is that the Yucatan? Not the Yucatan. The fucking... This body of water. The Gulf of California. I don't know if it actually reaches it anymore. I mean, I think it does, but also don't quote me, because I am not an intelligent human being. Moving on to the task at hand. Now it's a bike route, huh? So, you gotta be near a city, or you're insane to bike out in the middle of the fucking desert. Uh, back up a bit, I want to see what the speed limit is for this state. Did I? Okay, there it is. 55. No one's staying 55 on this. It's a long stretch flat of road that um, doesn't seem like it's um, in populated areas, so they're going to go blasting down it super fast. Why did it hit me backwards? And there's a bike trail on it. I would not ride my bike on this road. I would be so nervous. For the reasons I mentioned of just people going so fucking fast and plowing into you. Alright, we got giant power lines, which makes me feel we're either coming to or from a power plant and moving to or from a very large city. So, that tells me nothing. I'm hoping I can go over here and see the sign and maybe... Say that doesn't tell tell me or help me with anything. Does the sign post have anything on it? No, it's just a stick in the ground. The fuck is this? This is just nothing. Got watch for animals. Oh, I thought it said children. Like they're fucking Roman packs of children in the desert here. Animals, armadillos, foxes. Coyotes? Where is this? There's nothing here. Oh, here we go. Alright, we've got... Terezzo. We're near Phoenix, huh? Express Homes. Are we leaving Phoenix? Or are we heading into it? Because I'm not seeing... Anything this way. I'm about to hit home and try the other direction. 
because this is a whole lot of nothing. So I'm going to go to Phoenix here, hit home, and go this way in 20 something seconds. Can I do it? That guy was trying to pass us, but now we can't. So we're passing illegally. I mean, you're technically not supposed to pass on the right hand side of the road. What does this say? Oh, it's a bike path. Um, we're down here. I'm saying we're there. I think we're in this area here, and I don't know exactly which one it is. We were actually over here on North Sun Valley Parkway, huh? Just the fucking right turn to nowhere. Why? Why just decide? You know, we're gonna do a straight line this way, and then we're like, nah, fuck it. Let's just go back towards Highway 10. I don't know. But there you have it. A short, meandering, tired walkthrough of the great state of Arizona. If you very much liked it, go book a plane. Go book a plane trip there and uh, see for yourself. It's not hot as fuck this time of year when you go there. I mean, they, it does get cold, very cold at nights, and then. And kind of warm in the sun in the, in the daytime, but um, gonna thank you all for watching. And if you had any other suggestions for maps, any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, issues, thoughts, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them and get back to you as soon as I can. Monday's done. Um, there's something about that cure song, but I really don't feel like singing it right now because. I need to go wake myself up. Maybe I should have done that for the video, but you know. Uh, we're going to go get through this week together, folks. I'll see you here on Wednesday. Goodbye.